I didn't know quite what to expect. So when I actually came and moved the ball, and I suddenly realized that actually it gave you this three-dimensional approach to the paintings, which I didn't expect at all. It was just awe-inspiring. It just took my breath away. It draws me in. Kind of a stimulation of your brain. Imagine you're seeing a painting for the very first time. And while you're looking at the painting and thinking about it, the colors and structures change as new layers emerge from its depths. A hallucination? On the contrary, it's all very real. The reflections of sunlight wandering over the surface of the painting change its colors and structures. This is what nature filmmaker and diver Daniel Opitz discovered when Dagmar Voida Köhler visited him in Hawaii with a painting by the artist Obe to film his encounter with the picture. Das sieht aus, als wenn die Farbe sich selbst ihre Struktur gesucht hat. Der dunkle ohne Naturlicht ist schon toll, aber das das ist richtig, das das ist ja fast schon als wenn es von hinten beleuchtet ist. And in his home at his place uh, we experienced this for the very first time. And then sometimes later I met Christoph Brosius. It was a actually a coincidence and um, he had heard about that and um, was fascinated about the idea having an experience like that not only on a special day two years ago in Paya, Hawaii at a special time but anywhere at any time. The most extraordinary thing about these paintings is that you have to see their sort of three-dimensional qualities because the way in which the oil paint was used, it gives it this sort of depth which you can only see either in real life when the light is moving around it, but in this fantastic presentation. The game developers, Christoph Brosius and Jan Bubinek, have come up with a digital installation in which you can play with a variety of light conditions to discover the various depths in the painting. Die digitale Reproduktion von dem Bild, was das Ergebnis ist von den ganzen Fotos, die wir heute gemacht haben, werden wir am Ende auf einen wahnsinnig großen 75 Zoll Fernseher bringen. Und ähm, davor und damit dem Gemälde, was darauf projiziert wird, wird man interagieren können. Also wie kann ich statt einfach nur drauf zu schauen in fixen Lichtbedingungen die Lichtbedingungen selber spielerisch verändern und das ermöglichen wir durch diese Installation. By moving the magic bowl, you can change the way the light of the sun and moon falls on Obey's paintings. In this way, the digital discovery allows you to discover the many different pictures contained in each of Obey's paintings. You don't only have one piece of art. You have as many as you want because you can illuminate them the way you want. It creates new experiences that wouldn't exist there before, it would be very hard to see. It's not just flat and it's not just something that is passive, but in this way it's a sort of like it becomes an active subject. So the first time I was here, I was like, you know, I was really, uh, uh, yeah, it's very interactive, so uh, it, it made me feel like a child. My emotional reaction was that it is a pity that the painter is not seeing this, because uh, the paintings are reflected in very different ways now, and it is a pity that he hasn't seen them. <laughs>